Hey everyone, today we're making gluten-free French toast. Now in the past I've had trouble making gluten-free French toast because the bread, and I use Trader Joe's and I've used them other ones, it tends to be too dense and it will not absorb the egg very well. So your French toast turns out dry and unappetizing. And I, I pretty much was gonna give up until I saw how the French make their French toast or at least the French style. So that's what I'm gonna show you today, and it works beautifully. You're gonna love it. It makes your French toast, no matter what kind of bread you use, nice and fluffy and moist throughout the whole thing, and it is delicious. And you get that little crispiness on the outside as well. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. Now the French use day-old French bread, but we're gonna use our gluten-free bread, but you could do that, and that's why this technique works so well with that stale French bread. So here's the secret. We're gonna take some milk. I'm using whole milk here, and I'm going to pour about a tablespoon per slice of bread, give or take a bit, depending on the size of your bread, right? So we're just gonna put that in a little dish here, and then I'm going to add some vanilla extract to that to give it some flavor because vanilla extract, what that does is it brings out the sweetness in this recipe. So I'm gonna place my eggs into a separate dish as you can see here. Now you notice that I'm not adding the milk to the egg mixture. We're gonna be adding the milk and the eggs separately to the bread and that's gonna make all the difference. Let's give that a whisk with our fork and really mix it up so it's very well combined. Now with my French toast, I like a little bit of maple syrup and I'm using the real stuff here, as you'll notice. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit uh, into a dish and I'll heat it up. And you can put it in the microwave, which is what I do, or you can just set this whole dish into a dish of warm water and that would do, this, do the trick. So I'm taking my milk here with a little vanilla extract and you wanna put a spoon, a tablespoon's worth all over the piece of bread and you want to make sure you get the edges because you want those to be nice and tender as well. So flip the bread over and apply another tablespoon, maybe a little less depending on how wet the bread is already. Once we're done with the milk coating, now we're gonna move into the egg coating. So now I'm gonna take the egg and just do the same thing. I'm just gonna spread it over each piece, but only on one side. And I'll show you in a minute why that is. And now we're ready to toss these in the pan. So I have my frying pan here over medium low heat and I'm placing some butter in the pan to coat the bottom. So let's place our French toast egg side down into the pan. Now remember how we didn't put the egg on the second side? Well, we're gonna do that now. So we're just gonna take another tablespoon or more and just place it right on top, spread it around so that it gets everywhere. Now you may have to turn the heat up just a bit. Sometimes I do that when it's a little bit slow after you put the all the toast in the pan, it tends to cool it down and sometimes you need to turn it up. But just watch it close. So you do wanna see those little bubbles going on around the edges there, you see that? And uh, just, you know, it'll take about, I don't know, three or four minutes to get it to brown up. All right, it's time for a peek, let's have a look. Oh yeah, look at that, little golden brown, so we're gonna flip them over, look at that, beautiful. Let's do the next one. Just give it a toss. And if you have a little egg left over in the pan, no big deal. Just you can add that on your plate after it's done. Look at that, beautiful. The smell is incredible. Now, I don't know if you can tell here, but I can tell that my bread has really plumped up. It's really got, you know, a lot of egg in there and milk and it's just nice and tender and we got that crispy edge going on. This is gonna be really good. It's time for that warm syrup. I was gonna pour it on and then I decided I'm gonna spoon it on because otherwise it drips all over. So here we go, look at that. That, it looks amazing. This is now my favorite way to cook French toast. Look at that. The texture and flavor is amazing. It's tender on the inside and moist and a little bit of crunchy going on on the outside. I can't wait for you guys to try this. 
Oh, that French toast is something else. Hey, if you'd like another recipe for, say, Taco Tuesday, you're looking for a nice, delicious taco to, to try out, I've got a recipe for you. Check out my shredded chicken tacos right over here, and you're going to love it. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.